Offense did not look that good. Like, okay. They need to perform a lot. We squeaked out with a win, which is good, but it didn't. It wasn't pretty by any means. We need to play a lot better. How do you think we perform as an overall team, knowing the fact that Dobbs is being selfish? We played fucking amazing. What's your name? David Alexander. David Alexander. Cool. Oh! We don't have Romeo Dobbs because okay. whatever reason, right? Because he's selfless, because he didn't get enough target, whatever. What do you think our team performed based on the offense without Romeo Dobbs? Do you think we're good? Yeah. Or we're like, no, we're good. No, I'm going to take these right. Romeo Dobbs has always taken the cut. Okay. So I get what he's doing. But he now, he's a good receiver, right? He just hasn't had the spotlight on him, but he makes it plays in. So I get his frustration, right? But Malice Force is so Culture, he's gonna get everybody involved, and I'm with that. This is a team effort, so everybody can play. Even with all the drops, it was still yeah. unreal. Tucker dropped a couple of huge catches, huge catches. That that is, would you still pick John Jacobs over Aaron Jones, or would you say nah, leave Jay Jacobs? Yeah. Leave Jacobs. Okay. Because he's still here. Aaron Jones is dangerous. He didn't finish today's game. That's the point. Jaden Reed and Jordan Love connected on that fucking second quarter. Oh, yeah. Do you think, based on what Malibor produced today against the Rams, do you think that is enough, enough to say, hey, we're going to face the 49ers, we can win today? It's never enough. It's never enough. You all got preparation needs to excellence, so I think we still got to build on it, and I still think a lot more like we got to put in. Would you say that our defense failed us out? No. No, the okay. defense didn't they, play that no, great either. The, the fumble the, recovery the, the was turnover, the, the interception and the turnover were huge. Yeah. You want to get in jail, take a picture of all you. I think they're going to win against other teams like this. Okay. So in general, if Jair Alexander were to come back, do you think we have, because we've had a problem with the 49ers, do you think we have a chance against them? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think we should trade for him? Because the one day I don't want to trade him. Should we trade or not? We should keep Romeo Dunn. We keep Romeo Dunn, okay? He's good. He's good. And we can use yeah. him. What do you think? You see, see. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's, that's what I agree on. There's no flow. Exactly. I think that our offense have first place and they're really good at it. The problem is that we're not consistent enough to say, hey, you know hey, what? Wait. We can go to the support with this team right we here. We don't beat the hey. 49ers hey, wait, play like that. That's Matt, my Matt LaFleur. We beat the Rams oh, play like that. We don't beat the 49ers. Please play figure out third and short. I just need you to have hey, three to five play plays that are guaranteed exactly. third and short. As far as a uh, running game, do you think that Aaron uh, Aaron Jones would have done a better job today than Josh Jacobs or we're, we're good with Josh Jacobs? I think we're good with Josh Jacobs, but I think Aaron uh, could have been way better because he doesn't trip and fall as easy. He does have a stronger leg. I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know. My dad. So he, he doesn't lose his balance as often. He has a little more drive. He has a little more flexibility and agility. How do you feel about Bob McKinnon? I think he's excellent. He's going to be one of the greatest core, one of the greatest Green Bay Packers to, to ever play for the team. So watch out for McKinnon. Interception in the five games. How do you think our offense is big today? I love to read the defense better okay. and execute. Okay. Last week, he ate a couple touchdowns, some cover two that were wide open. Love is still shaking. Do you think it's the knee that it's affecting him? Yep. He can't, can't step up. He can't step up if he wants to the pocket. Okay. And make the throw. As far as our running back. Josh Jacobs is in route, or, do you, or as far as your decision, would you bring in Aaron Jones instead? I, I'm going to go with Josh Jacobs. Okay. I love and, and, I, and I also like number 31 also. Okay. He's a little bit bigger back, yes. so he gives us a little bit of extra yards. Okay. That, that makes sense. For number 31. What would you say? I miss me some Aaron Jones. I, I miss me some Aaron Jones. I miss me some Aaron Jones. If you had a choice, if you had an ultimate choice to say Josh Jacobs, Aaron Jones, who would you choose? Oh, right now. Oh, no. uh, the 
Devontae Adams, do you think we should trade for him? No. How do you feel about receiving for right now? It's perfect. Okay. So, anything that has to do with Devontae Adams, you think it's a... We can't afford him. We don't want him. We let him go for a reason. How did you guys feel about last week when we faced the white I tiger? turned it off. I was so mad. And he goes, they, they came back. And I turned it on and immediately there was an interception in the end zone. I said, fuck that. I turned it off one more time. Now I'm finally right here with you